uh, high students. Uh, in this session, uh, in some few minutes, we are going to see questions uh, uh, which are from national exams from two basic mathematics 2019. And as you can see, the exam uh, is started by giving you instructions. Of course, the duration, the time for exam is two and a half hour. And the paper has 10 compulsory questions. So you're supposed to do all the questions and show clearly all the waking and answers in the space provided. All writing must be in blue or blank or black ink, except the drawing, which must be in pencil. For figure mathematical tables, geometric instruments, and the graph papers may be used if where necessary. And all communication devices, calculators, and any unauthorized materials are not allowed in the examination room. And so actually this is the place uh, for examiners. And here are the questions. So the question, uh, question number one, question 1A, we are supposed to find the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor of 18, 24, 60, uh, you know a common number which is going to divide the largest number which is going to divide 18 24 60 without a reminder so we can use prime factorization methods we are going to say 18 24 60 so we start by 2 it is 9 it is 12 it is 30 by 2 2 is not a common number Anyway, so you have 9, you have 6, 15. You can continue by 2, so it is 9, 3, 15. 3, as you can see, 3 is common number. So 3, 1, 5. You continue by 3 again, you're going to get 1, uh, actually, 1, 5. Continue again there. So we are having 1, 1, 5, you continue by 5 will be 1, 1, 1. So as you can check uh, from prime factorization, we have seen that 2 is common number and 3 is common number. So GCF, it is 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. Question number one to one B, the population of three towns are 65, 600, 13,000, uh, 65,600, 13,429,700. Approximately the total population of the three towns to near, nearest thousands. Okay, very good. So actually we have to find the total population and total population Total population uh, equals to 65,600, 13,400, 29,700. First of all, we are going to add them. And when you add them here, you're going to get 0, 0, 17, uh, 17, it is 8, 9, 18. So we take one, it is seven, uh, seven, eight, eight plus two, ten. So summation uh, of population of three towns is 108 and 700. And we are supposed to approximate it to thousands, to nearest thousands. So, uh, this one here being approximated to nearest thousands, you're going to be, we know, it's, uh, because uh, the number we are going to consider now here is eight, and the number after eight is greater than five. So actually, this is going to be approximately 109,000. Uh, so that is total population to nearest thousands. Total population. Near it, thousand 
uh, is 109,000. Question number two. Rahema spent one over eight of her salary on the transport. Rahema spent one over eight of her salary on transport. And one over four on food. If she remained with 80,000 shilling, what was her salary? So the solution here, first of all, we are going to let, let X be uh, her salary. So he spent one over eight of her salary on transport and one over four of her salary on food. So the total expenditure here will be eight, which is one plus two, X C we get three X over eight. So actually what to remain here can say that remainder after expenditure uh, equals it is x minus 3x over 8. It is larger minus the amount spent actually on food and transport. And we are getting 8 here. It is 8x minus 3x equals to 5x over 8. So 5x over 8, 5x over 8 equals to 8, uh, 8,000. So we are going to find the value of x. So x will be equal to 8 times 8,000 divided by 5. So when we divide it by five, <clears throat> by five it is one, by five here yeah, 16. So you have 16, uh, take 16 times four, sorry, 16 times eight. It is 60 times eight, 48. Six, one times eight, it is eight. 80 plus four, it is 12. 128,000. <clears throat> so it means uh, her salary, her salary was 128,000 shilling. That is question number 2B, uh, 2A. To be, you are supposed to change uh, 5 over 8 into percentage. So 5 over 8 into percentage, you just multiply by 100%. You are going to get 500 divided by 8%. By 8, it is 1. By 8 here, it is uh, 6. 48 remain 20, 20 by 8, it is 2, remain 4, 4, it is 40 now by 8, it is 5. So equals to 62.5, as I can say from 50%. Second part, change into decimal. So you're going to take 5 divided by 8. We know that 5 is less than 8, so it is 0. Then I'm going to multiply there by zero. You're going to get fives. You add a zero, then point. 50 by eight, it is six. It is 48. You subtract it there, you're going to get a two. Two, you add a zero, it will be two now. It is 16, multiply, you get four. Add a zero, it is five. 40, so forth. So therefore, uh, 5 over 8 actually equals to 0 0.625. That is the answer. Question number 3. A machine that cost 180,000 shilling was sold at a profit of 40%. Find the selling price. A machine 
which was uh, actually the cost was 180,000 shilling was sold at a profit of 40%. So we're supposed to find the selling price. There are so many ways uh, actually uh, which can be used to solve this question, but one of them is we know that uh, the buying price can say buying price is equivalent equivalent to 100%. So I can say that 100% is equivalent to 180,000 shilling. And the selling price has to be 140% so that we are going to have a profit of 40%. So 140% is equivalent to how much? Uh, being the fact that actually X now here is our selling price. So by crossing multiplication, by crossing multiplication, uh, XC will be 180 times 140 divided by 100 because percent percent that percentage can be cancelled you can cancel percentage so the value of xc is is actually uh, two zeros will go there and two zeros will go there and so we're going to take just T18, it is 180, 1,800 times 140, and the result is 252,000. <coughs> so that is the solution uh, of uh, the question, as you can see here. And we are coming to the end of the session now. Thank you very much.